Here's a quick video for two different methods for knowing the number of days in each month. The most conventional one is the poem. 30 days out of September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31 except for February which has 28 days clear and 29 in each leap year. So from here, if you know that September, April, June and November have got 30, then all the rest have got 31. The exception is February which has that extra day in a leap year. So you can work out any month from there. This is the slightly more unconventional method. It's called the knuckle method. And the idea is you put both of your hands together with your knuckles showing and you tuck your thumbs underneath. And then this is how it works. Starting on the left hand side, you say January is high and February is low in the gap between the two knuckles. March is high, April is low, May is high, June is low, July is high and then you go straight across the top to August being high, September's low, October's high, November's low and December is high and then you kind of don't need these little bits at the end. So you're probably thinking what on earth is this all about? Well the idea is that all of these months that are high months have got 31 days and all of the low months have not got 31. Most of them have 30, except for this little one here, which of course is your February, which has 28 or 29. So when you're counting, if I just switch to a highlighter a moment, if you're counting along, you can say, so let's say you, you get um, how many days are there in May, you can say January is high, February is low, March is high, April low, May is high, so if it's a high month it must be 31. On your help sheet you've got this written out, just to remind you, just in case you can't remember. You can either practice the poem method or you can learn the knuckle method.